KBR, Acadiana's local sports leader. Good evening, everyone. High school football returns tonight with the start of the Jamborees all across Acadiana. St. Martinville and Lafayette getting things started. The Kiwanis Jamboree 69th edition. Lions get some points on the board, but how about Caden Zenon with a bomb to number three Harvey Broussard? He was the MVP of the game. They go for two and get the conversion. After the play, the Tigers have a high powered offense. And, well, it showed on this night as they beat Lafayette, despite Lafayette getting in the end zone right there. Your final score, St. Martinville wins 25-17. to 17. Now, in the second game, or actually in the nightcap of, the, of this one, Acadiana and Notre Dame. This touchdown right here, not too shabby, about 45 yards for the touchdown. And uh, things looking good for the Reckon Rams. But Notre Dame comes back with a sack here. Not a bad play there. And then one play on offense here from the Pios is Nick Swacker will hand to Lucas Seymour. And Seymour will go 53 yards around the right side. But in the end, this game just went final. 7 to nothing. your final score. Notre Dame had a chance to punch it in from the four-yard line, but that Reckon Ram defense held him out. So Acadiana wins 7 to nothing. Down south, Nish squaring off against Lauraville in the Sugarcane Festival. Parish Jamboree. First half, the big man from the Barry Colby Williams snags the ball, takes it to the crib for pick six, and gives it to Jackson early lead. How about Tigers quarterback Caleb Jacob looking for redemption? Finds it through his twin brother Colin as he makes the touchdown there. In the second half, Jahari Williams fumble, recovers the fumble, looking, uh, looking forward to what uh, Lauraville can do this year. And uh, things looking pretty good there down in Lauraville as they get the win. 10 to 6, the final. Over in Eunice, head coach Andre Vigi and the Bobcats hosting the IOTA Bulldogs. IOTA quarterback Dawson Wallace drops back and tries to launch this one to receiver Dylan Callahan, but Eunice's Terrence Shiloh picks him off on the ensuing drive. Josh Brown hands to Tyshawn Joseph, who's stripped of the ball. Nicholas Simmons and uh, well, it's recovered by Carson Crochet with about 30 seconds to go in the first half. Running back Tyler Charlotte takes it in. 7 nothing at that point. Your final score, Iota gets the victory 21-6 to over the Eunice Bobcats. 